so remember how I said that there are books that I'm really gonna try very hard to finish and there are certain books that I can't finish either because of the formatting or the characters or the story this is the first one this is also the first legitimate pick for the bad book list but um, I did add the known world to the bad book list but like there's a strike through on the list because it technically doesn't count but I read part of it so I put it on there this book is called The Sweetest Kill I had such high hopes for this book I was so hopeful the description sounds amazing is a sad girl who wanted to die she's got depression like major depression she got some trauma in her past because her sister died and it was going to be amazing the story was going to be great her parents don't understand her her boss is a creepy asshole who tried to have sex with her and it was going to be great she hears about a serial killer who's killing young women and she tries to lure him in to kill her and she does Her name is Shoshana, but I'm gonna call her Anna because her name annoys me. And, like, uh... Anna finds the killer because she goes to this club and she goes outside because people are touching her and I guess she has a fear of being touched and something like that. <coughs> and she sees him about to kill an, uh, killing another girl and then he sees her and he comes over and she realizes that he's a vampire. She glosses over the fact that vampires actually exist and decides to... <sighs> she like offers herself to him and instead of doing what a, real, what a real fucking vampire would do, he doesn't kill her, even though it's been established that in this story that he's killing young women. Why should it matter that she offered herself to him Anne is disappointed and she goes home and the dude is in her fucking apartment. Um, what's his name? I don't... It's somewhere in here. I think his name, his name is Tobias. And instead of killing her, he says that he's going to use her for something. And at the end of the, tr of the period of time, he will oblige her and he will kill her. And that's what she wants, so she agrees to it. So she goes with him to this place where there are other vampires and she freaks out because she starts drinking and she starts being touched by people so she runs out of the place like not not touched by people like they're like touching her arm and shit like that that's she doesn't like being touched at all and she runs out and is like vomiting in the street and Tobias is like why the fuck did you do that and she's like deals off and she goes home and she slits her wrists and she's going to 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 kill herself and and Tobias saves her. I think his name is Tobias. That kind of sounds wrong, but I don't remember. I'm not opening that fucking book again. I deleted it off of my Kindle. Like, he gives her his blood so that she'll live. And now they're tied to each other and he can, like, read her mind or something like that. And, and... Tobias sends her to a place with a package where this other vampire asshole offers to like set her free by giving her his blood. Why that wouldn't tie her to him now, I have no idea. And then, like, like, some, uh, she goes downstairs to leave and she's attacked and someone gets shot. I couldn't finish the book. That's about where I stopped. It took 15 chapters to break me. The gist of the end is that Tobias gives her a reason to live and now she's a vampire at the end of the story and she like turns someone or like eating someone else in the last chapter like I think it's supposed to be an epilogue. I, I could care fucking less. Like, Twilight is all over this goddamn book. A depressed girl who catches the fancy of a vampire and ends up a vampire? Twilight has ruined all teen vampire books anymore. The fact that that's even a genre that just I just exuded from a mouthpiece. Stephanie Meyer has ruined vampires for forever. Like, at least part of the vampire lore. She's ruined it for forever. I'm really happy that no one has embraced the sparkling thing, though. So that's great. I... And then... 
With Tobias, you can't have it both ways. Tobias cannot both be a sadistic human being and then care about Anna, even though he doesn't actually care about her. Like, he called her cat feral and stuff like that, and he constantly makes fun of her and stuff. You can't have it both ways. The dialogue is really nauseating. Like, oh God. Uh -huh. Shoshana's setup is fine though. Like she has severe depression. Her mother isn't super understanding. She doesn't like being touched. Her parents don't get that. Her boss is trying to have sex with her, and but he's like not a good person. And like her little sister died after only being nine, after only getting to live for like nine years. But her parents still live in the house. She can't live in that house. She's poor, can't really pay her rent, quits because her boss is a piece of shit, understandably. Like, and she can't pay her rent. Every, that whole setup is fine. Like, she has reason to be depressed and stuff like that. But then Tobias shows up and instead of giving her her wish and making this a 15 page book, like, I knew some shit was up when she found the killer and it was only in, like, chapter three. Like, I thought it was gonna be, like, she'd have to convince him to kill her and, like, eventually he would do it because she won't shut the fuck up. And, God. Tobias just pisses me off so fucking much. He's a serial killer, but the one girl who doesn't fight back against him, he decides is the one he's going to be interested in. And then, like in T2, when John Connor told the Terminator not to kill anybody, Anna rips the balls right off of him by telling him that he can't kill anybody else while he's about to kill her. He later doesn't end up fucking killing her. I guess he ends up turning her, or somebody turns her, and I'm pretty sure they have sex somewhere in the story. I didn't finish reading it. She claims to not be in love with him, which is fine. You can have sex with someone and not be in love with them, but that... Hmm. He also just seems super toxic. <laughs> like with Twilight. Edward is not a good person. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. For point eight. <laughs> that I make in the book. God, and the book after this too is also on the bad book list. <laughs> Point eight that I make after for this book is that with the other books that are all on the good book list, what makes them in my mind good books is the fact that I want to go on the journey with the protagonist. They are either likable enough or they have someone with them who's likable enough that I want to see where they end up. And I want this to be a good journey. With Sia, I want Boy to be protected. So I wanted to go on the journey with Sia. I also didn't know that she wasn't a good person in the beginning of the story. With, with Nora and Kettle, I want Nora to get away from her dad, and I want Kettle to have better circumstances. I want to go on the story with them. I want Moria to be proven innocent. I want Eric to figure out why the fuck he's so special. I want Megan in Death Cursed to figure out what the fuck is going on with her. I want to see Artemis succeed. I actually want to see him fail, but I want to see Artemis succeed. And like, I want to know what's going to happen to equality. With Ada, it's different. With Jonas from The Giver, like, I want to know what, he, what, what this world is like. All of the, and all of the ones I'm, that I read after this book. I want to go on the journey. I shouldn't hit, hit like that. I want to go on the journey with the protagonist. But when the protagonist is a piece of shit like this, and to, I don't know who the fuck the antagonist is because I didn't read the fucking book. Take, like, one of these books, it took 28 chapters to get a plot. I should not find out what the plot is in chapter 16, which I did not read because it took 15 chapters to fucking break me. Uh... I don't think a book has ever made me this angry. Like I've been bored and stuff like that, but I don't think a book has ever made me this angry. Like, I don't like it, obviously. I didn't even read the whole thing. I was not going to sit through another, tw another um, 12 chapters of that nonsense. If, 
if you like Twilight, you'll like this book probably. But if you like Twilight, why are you here? Not in like a bad way. It's just that I don't like books like that and I'm sure you don't want to hear me rip in the shreds. This book fucking sucks. <laughs>